515, good morning. Today's workout, we're doing all weights, um, heavy weights today. Let me show you what the workout's gonna look like. So this is a journal that I keep all of my workouts in. Let's turn over to the day. Hang on, we gotta put it on Tuesday. No, you know what? Let's do a heavier day. Let's go over here to a Thursday workout. So you see here we're going to do um, a lot of body movements. We're also going to do some shoulders, a little bit of back, and then we're going to end with a heavy arm workout. And so instead of those brooks that we showed you yesterday that we're running in, when we're doing our hit training, our weight training, I really want to try to use a barefoot shoe as often as possible. I think we might have even talked about these on a channel before. These are the Innovate XF210s. And the reason why we're, we're gonna use these is when we're doing dynamic movements like squats and deadlifts, um, actually any time that we're not running, I try to be in a barefoot shoe for foot spread, which you can kind of see that here and to um, you know allow the most grounded real feeling possible when it comes to something like a squat or a deadlift and since we can't go barefoot in the gym this is the closest that we can get so let's get these shoes on let's go get a pre-workout head to the gym and remember the goal today is at least 90 minutes okay so i think with our workout that we have planned um, 90 minutes should be about right, uh, maybe a few minutes over, uh, because again, going on this, um, this journey for the next two weeks, this pre-workout, having an empty stomach, fendi uh, ending the, um, the food window, gosh, at about 5.30, um, this is not going to last as my energy source for longer than about an hour and 40 minutes. So. Let's talk about nutrition a little bit on the way to the gym. Okay, so we have the gym behind us. It's open, that's great. I'm gonna sit here and finish my uh, pre-workout and talk a second about um, the protein. When I was kind of reviewing yesterday, the protein going over 190 grams really wasn't something that I was trying to do. Um, if we were just weight training, that wouldn't be an issue. I, I would have zero problem with it. but since we are trying to get, you know, race ready, if you will, um, and we're not really trying to put on any more muscle, we really need to be around 180 in the protein max. I would prefer even 178. I just don't know that I can drop that much weight in two weeks. Um, but racing at about 178 to 182, I, uh, I have done for many years. And so that's what the goal is going to be. I think the, um, the easiest way may be to simply do one scoop of protein powder instead of two when we first get back and open the food window. And then maybe look at how many eggs that we are eating for lunch, if that's what we're going to do today. But um, yeah, we're going to cut about 10 more grams off of that. Uh, the calories were fine, had no issues with that, didn't have any issue with the fat. But yeah, we're going to try to drop 10 more off today and um, kind of go from there and see how we see how we feel, see if that makes us any more sore tomorrow since we are going to do a heavy weight day today. Um, but yeah, I think that's the changes that we're going to make moving forward. And the easiest way to do it is to uh, just drop the protein in half, um, depending on what we decide we're going to have for dinner. But I think, um, I think we'll do that this morning and uh, just see where the day takes us as far as nutrition is concerned. So let's get in and get it. So we're walking out. It's about 8 o'clock now. So we did a little bit more than a, an hour and a half, almost two hours uh, with weights. And again, daylight and dark difference uh, for sure in how today's workout went compared to yesterday's. We um, ended up doing 200 squats, 100 front squats, 100 back squats, 
Oh, I always warm up with um, some sort of light cardio. Today was um, today was ten minutes. Ten minutes on the rowing machine. I like to burn between 150 and 200 calories uh, before I start lifting weights, just simply to um, get the body and the heart rate up a little bit. And then uh, most days we finish with the same type of cardio. Today, though. We ended up doing uh, a set of squats, 10, so we did 20 sets of 10, and after each set of 10, we would do a round robin of different weight-bearing exercises. So we actually didn't um, finish with any any cardio because that was the cardio. I'm still out of breath. Um, but yeah, daylight and dark, difference in the experience yesterday and the experience today. Sun's coming up. It's going to be a hot one today. Um, I think we broke this cold spell down here. And I'm going to get back, get some protein. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it today. I might, um, I might actually make a, I don't know. I might make a sludge bowl. We will during this this uh, uh, two week training period, which is uh, basically a protein shake without as much water, and uh, you eat it almost like oatmeal. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to get back. Great workout. I think we're going to try to get some UV today, um, some sun. That helps me so, so much uh, when I'm doing multiple long runs a week. Having the UV, um, it just simply helps the body and the bones, uh, specifically the bones, repair and keeps the joints loose. So we're going to head back home, and I'll see you again shortly. Uh, we've got a couple of windows couple of windows we have a couple of hours before our food window opens um, and I'll show you what we're gonna do today okay two hours in the Sun Julie and I are headed back home I think I am gonna make that protein sludge bowl that I told you about because um, it's a little after 1030 now and we'll actually be starting our food window so let's get back and I'll show you how to make that all right, here's what we got. Very, very simple. And this is going to be the recipe for this type of consistency. Okay, so you're looking for something like um, just on the other side of a thick pudding. Again, two scoops. We decided to do two scoops of protein powder today. You guys have seen me use the super creamer and tea before. I actually use this today as my liquid rather than water. We're going to use three tablespoons of that. That's going to give us, that's just two ingredients, that's going to give us this consistency. And then we're actually going to top with a little bit of organic cinnamon powder. And that's going to be our little treat. Once again, I'll get sick of saying this, but we're going to put the nutrition on the screen. It is 1041 and we're breaking our fast. We are on repeat today. <laughs> so dinner again is going to be our, trying to get through a seat up. Our double bacon quarter pounder with cheese, no bun, four of those. So another pound of ground beef. That's going to be our main meal today. Let me take it back and enjoy. So we did not eat the burgers when we got back. I have not been hungry. We actually got those for lunch. I got those around noon. So I'm actually just now nuking them. It's 3.45, so I'm going to eat this pound of beef and this bacon, and I'm going to add about two ounces of our raw cheddar here to the meal. And one more time, we got the calories on top. So I'm not sure after this meal what we're going to do. I don't know how much um, I want to eat. I know I have a kombucha left, but we're going to eat this and, again, try to close the window um, no later than 5.30. So I don't know, um, I might have one more snack. I do have some beef jerky in there. I might, I might have some beef jerky. It's just gonna depend for whatever reason. Um, yeah, my appetite has just not been crazy. It's been really well balanced. That is one of the advantages, I wanna tell you that, of eating that sludge bowl. It's almost sticky, it feels sticky when you eat it. And so uh, when I have it versus drinking it, when I have it the sludge bowl and not just a shake, it maintains a real even keel of my appetite for um, more hours than it does if I'm just drinking it 
as a liquid and I guess that's what it did today. So anyway, we're gonna have this pound of beef, two ounces of this raw cheddar, and I'll see you again soon. Talk about if we have another meal or how we're gonna end the food window today. Last meal of the day. I am not gonna get in my protein without it, uh, but I also don't want to go as high as we did yesterday. We talked about this this morning. So there is a minimum of 20 grams that I want to eat to get to 178 grams of protein for the day. This is gonna be another 140 calories. You can see there, one carb and 24 grams. So again, we'll slide over to 182 for the day. I'm not gonna put these on the screen because it is very apparent there. But I will check back in with you whenever we have our kombucha. It is gonna be close because it is 5.20 p.m. right now. But the kombucha will close the food window in a few minutes. And then we'll talk about the totals for today. Okay guys, that's gonna end it, I think. Today, um, we're getting to be about 15 minutes, and that was really all the, the time that I wanted to, to spend per video to not bore you too much. But we're gonna end it with Kavita, again, another raspberry lemon tonight. Um, kombucha, always ending with kombucha. Really helps with digestion. Um, total, at the bottom of the screen for the day. Again, a little bit less calorie, a little bit less protein, and I think, um, you know, again, moving forward as we train versus run, we might adjust as we go about our day. So, I hope you had a good one. I had a good one. I'll see you again tomorrow morning. We're going to run. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Otherwise, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.